TEFL, TESOL, CELTA, what is a TEFL certificate and how can you choose the best one? If you want to teach English abroad or online, having one of these certificates is essential. In this video, we'll talk about why you need a TEFL certificate and how to choose the best TEFL course for you. And make sure to stay until the end where I reveal which TEFL course I did and if I regret it. What is a TEFL certificate? To teach English abroad or online, most schools and companies require a TEFL certificate of at least 120 hours. TEFL stands for Teaching English as a Foreign Language, and TESOL stands for Teaching English to Speakers of Other Languages. More or less, these are used interchangeably. It just depends on the country that's saying the name of the certificate. Now, CELTA and CERT TESOL are brands of TEFL certificate. CELTA is the Cambridge brand and CERT TESOL is the Trinity College London brand. As part of a TEFL course, you will learn how to teach grammar, vocabulary, and pronunciation. You'll also learn how to teach different skills like reading, writing, listening, and speaking. And depending on your TEFL course, you may get the chance to teach real students as well. Now I know there are all sorts of TEFLs out there with all different price points, so I will break down the differences for you to help you choose. Before we talk about how to choose the best TEFL course for you, I just wanted to say hi, I'm Jamie from ESL Teacher 365. If you need any extra help getting your Teacher Broad Adventure started, then make sure to fill out my survey, which is linked down below. How to choose a TEFL course. With everything that's going on in the world, many teachers are choosing to do their TEFL course online instead of in person. The best TEFL online certification is the one that fits your teaching preferences, goals, and budget. Here's some criteria you can consider when choosing a TEFL course. TEFL courses can be as cheap as $20 and as expensive as three or $4,000. Now that's a huge difference. Cheap TEFL courses are usually between $20 and $150 and are often used for teaching English online. I do not recommend these courses for teaching abroad because they are very basic. You get what you pay for in terms of content and learning. While many of these cheap TEFLs say that they are equivalent to 120 hours of instruction, teachers can usually finish them in only a few days. They're often a long document that you can read through and there aren't any videos or anything interactive. So if you are a certified teacher and you have teaching experience, then you can get a cheap TEFL just to kind of tick that box of having that uh, requirements, but if you're actually looking to learn something, I would not recommend getting a cheap TEFL course. These courses used to be very popular for teaching on Chinese platforms like VIP Kid, GoGo Kid, and Magic Ears, but since China's ban on foreign teachers, these courses aren't as popular anymore. If you would like to find out how to teach online for non-Chinese companies and marketplaces, then you can check out this video. Mid-level courses range from $200 to $600 and are often an introductory level 120 hour course. They often include pre-recorded video lessons and reading material, and depending on the course, there may be an hour or two of office hours where you can go and talk to a tutor and get any of your questions answered. These courses are quick. They usually take between three and 10 weeks to complete at your own pace. They're a great option for teaching abroad for people who study to be a teacher or have some teaching experience. And while they are quite affordable, I would not recommend them for anyone with zero teaching experience just because there is still a lack of student support. These courses are best for people who have a bachelor's degree and some previous teaching experience. I'll leave some links in the description down below for TEFL courses that I recommend at each price point. The most expensive TEFL courses are usually between $1,000 and $3,000, and many of the courses in this tier are level five courses. This means that they are equivalent to university coursework. CERT TESOL and CELTA are in this tier. Level five TEFL courses are great for people who are new to teaching and need a little bit of extra student support, or for people who are looking to have a bit of a competitive edge over applicants that only have those mid-tier 120 hour courses. And finally, these courses are great for people who are looking to make teaching English abroad their career. I recommend these courses for teachers who don't have a bachelor's degree, are non-native speakers, or are completely new to teaching English. 
Also, some of these courses do offer job assistance after you graduate, which isn't included in those cheaper TEFLs, so that can make the higher price tag worth it as well. These courses usually have a four-week intensive option or a part-time less intensive option. I do recommend trying to find a course that has teaching practice as part of the course, especially if you're a new teacher. To summarize, cheap TEFL courses are only useful for online teaching if you already have some teaching experience. They don't take long and you get what you pay for. They are not recommended for teaching abroad. Mid-level TEFL courses are at least 120 hours. Make sure your course is accredited before you sign up. These courses are best for teachers with a bachelor's degree and some previous teaching experience since there isn't much student support. These courses can usually be completed in three to 10 weeks. Expensive TEFL courses are best for teachers with little to no previous teaching experience, teachers without a degree, non-native speakers, or teachers who are serious about teaching English as their career. You'll get lots of student support and can complete an intensive four-week course or a less intensive part-time course. Look for courses that include teaching practice. If you need a personal TEFL course recommendation, then send me an email at jamie at eslteacher365.com. I'm sure you're curious to find out which TEFL I ended up doing. I actually did my CELTA in Brisbane, Australia after I had already been teaching abroad for over six years. So how I avoided getting my TEFL until this late in the game was some of the programs, summer camps, and schools that I worked at either didn't require a TEFL, they just wanted me to be a native English speaker with a bachelor's degree, or in the case of an international school, I did need a US teaching certificate because I was teaching English immersion preschool and first grade, not necessarily English as a second language. So I don't recommend doing what I did and waiting so long to get my TEFL because I arrived to Australia and they said, we don't care that you have a degree in teaching and a teaching certificate and a master's in education. We need that TEFL certificate. So don't be like me, don't wait that long, just get it done now and then you won't have any blocks when you're trying to teach abroad or online. So do I regret doing a CELTA course? Well, actually, yes and no. So if you're curious to find out why, I do have a video coming out on the pros and cons of my CELTA experience coming out soon. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss that one. I hope this video shows you how to choose the best TEFL certification. In order to choose the best TEFL course for you, you really need to think about your previous teaching experience, how comfortable you are in the classroom, if you have a bachelor's degree or not, and how serious you are about making this your career. While budget does play a factor, it shouldn't be the determining factor when choosing a TEFL course. So which TEFL course are you thinking of doing and why? Leave a comment down below. You can find me on Instagram at eslteacher365 and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my Teach Abroad secrets. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Happy teaching and remember, the world is yours to teach and explore.